Aloha and welcome. Thank you for joining my live stream on Facebook. Today is March 25th, 2016. It is a Wednesday here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm coming to you live from my bedroom. This is the mural on my wall that I like to have as my backdrop when I can. I want to start by talking about some of the amazing things that have happened just in this first uh, eight or nine days of serving all of you with live stream. I have had many people contact me asking uh, for additional guidance and information and some of that additional guidance and information uh, they on their own accord decided to receive some divine services. Two people in the last two days have received what's called crown chakra blessings and I share this with you because I am humbled actually by the, uh, the results. I I'm so blessed to have recently become a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. And Dr. and Master Shah, to learn more about him, if you're not familiar, go to drsha.com. Uh, he is one of the most prolific healers on the planet today. And one of the most amazing things about Dr. and Master Shah is that he has the ability to transmit power, authority to bring healing to others. And I received that first authority to offer healing to others about eight or nine years ago. And ever since then, I've been on this most incredible journey of understanding the divine, how, how the universe works, how soul works, how soul can be applied to bring healing and blessing. Uh, it is an extraordinary experience. And in the last few days, there has been a few beautiful souls that have asked me for guidance specifically for a couple of, of different conditions. One was stress, another one was finances, and the soul world, as you know, uh, for, for those who have joined here today, offers incredible guidance. But some of the beautiful souls that received the guidance then also received the Crown Chakra Blessing. What I want to share with you <coughs> is the results. Um, they shared that they felt much more released uh, they shared that some of their existing pains diminished and yet the blessing was not for that pain It was for a different condition entirely and yet <clears throat> the nice thing about a divine service is that I'm not doing it The divine's using me as a middleman to offer the blessing to help remove our suffering and the divine knows where that suffering lies at <clears throat> in one case uh, one of the one of the beautiful souls that received this was having some difficulty with their employment and uh, they the, uh, after the blessing the employer um, smoothed out a little this only one or two days and they received additional financial blessings as a result of it they received some um, uh, release of some of their pain a lot more openness in their heart another one that I just offered just today uh, I, I, I was crying because in the um, <clears throat> in the reading uh, this person had financial blockages and um, I had did a, a crown chakra blessing and a reading for her sister earlier in the day or excuse me earlier in the week <clears throat> and when the souls uh, come through and they talk they I, I capture their essence their energy their frequency their voice so to speak and in both cases with her and her sister um, I felt uh, um, the ancestors energy and it was an energy of this is how we do business this is how we have always done business we will teach our children and our grandchildren we will teach our lineage to do business exactly like this so we can maintain this hierarchy of wealth at the expense of others now these two beautiful souls I know they don't have that they 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 follow this wisdom they 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 just don't have that but their ancestors did and that was impacting both of their financial conditions and so when I did um, the reading which was after I offered the crown chakra blessing heaven showed me this image it was I, I cried I was I was so moved <clears throat> it showed me this this row of just endless people uh, and they were all the families and the children of the families that had been on the receiving end of this selfishness that the ancestors had held on to all this time. This mindset of I take care of myself first. This, this uh, it was much deeper than that. But I'm 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 just stating a generality here. <clears throat> and what I saw was 
all of the ancestors lining up at their feet, washing their feet. Now this is something that I understand is common in a place like India, you know, it represents the, the, the deepest level of humbleness. I was just so moved by that, that heaven gave me this image. And that um, the message that came with it is, this was a message to all of those ancestors, this is how you should approach any soul. You offer any service with the deepest level of humbleness, not with I'm going to take care of me first and teach my children the same. And so, um, I just wanted to share that with you because I was so moved by that. Of course, this, this beautiful soul that received the Crown Chakra Blessing had tremendous benefits. Um, but um, I just think it's neat to share some of these things with you. The, the, the lines are lining up. I want to acknowledge all the people that are coming. Thank you, Kuole. Love you, love you. Thank you, Dory, for joining. Thank you, Karen. Love you. Uh, thank you, Kuole, again for the beautiful comments. Tatiana, very nice to see you again. Uh, hopefully you received my email, Tatiana. I apologize. I, I received the response that I went to, so <laughs> I hope you got it. Um, and I did use the same email as yesterday, so I don't know why you wouldn't have received it. Cat Cat, love you Cat Cat. Uh, Vanessa, always wonderful to see you join. Uh, and Tatiana, again, thank you for your service. You're very welcome. Esther, she's asking if she's online. I don't see her yet, but maybe she will join. Uh, Yvonne, uh, thank you Yvonne. I haven't seen your request yet. I will keep a look for them. Um, if they went to on my individual Facebook, I would not see them here. Uh, Petra, welcome Petra. Welcome Kayla. Welcome again Tatiana. Um, thank you. And that's pretty cool. You felt warmth all over your body. Uh, trust me, it's not me. I'm, if anything happened for you, it's probably because your treasures recognize the treasures that I've been blessed to receive and they turned on and lit up. So congratulations on that. Uh, and all those, all those that are watching, you have divine downloads and transmissions. Whether you even know it or not, you've received them. My teacher, Master Shah, has given them to humanity. Right now, dear all my downloads and treasures, please turn on. Please bless me the entire time I am... Um, here with, with Master Paul to receive as much benefit as I can. Make a request to the Divine. Through just the communication, you very well could receive some huge blessings. Uh, Petra, I just woke up at 2 a.m. in Germany. I'm happy to be here. I'll bow down to you, Petra. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your, your, uh, your willingness to wake up to watch this. By the way, it is recorded, so you can watch it on a recording. Just go to my webpage. I'm still, I apologize, trying to figure out how to bring all these videos in one place. I understand they're on my Facebook page. I don't know for sure <clears throat> if they all show up there. I'm looking into how to co coagulate them in one place. So bear with me as I go through this process of learning with this live stream. Welcome everybody. Uh, hopefully this will continue to grow. Again, my name is Paul Fletcher. I am honored to serve uh, you all, I'm honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. I would not be here. I would not be able to do soul readings. I would not be able to, to offer the, the healing that is occurring for people if it wasn't for my teacher, if it wasn't for uh, his commitment to serve humanity. Because of that commitment, he has received miracle healing abilities. There is no other reason. And he has been a wonderful mentor because there is not a single time when he offers a blessing that he does not give all the credit to the Divine. He takes no credit and he has taught us, do not even think about offering a blessing unless you make sure Divine gets the credit. You are just a representative. You are just serving. So please remind me if I offer any ego or anything that reflects anything other than that model. And I apologize to all of you for this in all lifetimes. If I have harmed any of your soul journeys in any way, I deeply apologize. So today, um, you know, I was asking about what is the guidance for today? Where should we go with this day? I want to go back to finances. It's been coming up. And I want to specifically talk about the soul of finances. There are a lot of people today that have a lot of blockages around finances. And I want to go into a little deeper meaning why. I'll do a soul reading or two, and I can do soul readings for you individually. I have a feeling the line will light up with everybody's questions around that. I ask you to be specific. If you have a business, state the name of your business so I can do a reading on that. If it's a specific blockage with a part of the business, 
please state that. If it's something where um, you just can't seem to get over a hump, state what you believe that hump is. And I'll do some readings on it. Um, I want to share with you one of the things that came up today with the reading. I never reveal people's private information so no one knows who I'm talking about except that person if they're on the line today or if they watch it they'll know. But it's very important that we maintain autonomy and integrity in that autonomy. What I have seen when I'm working with people is that we lose our connection to the divine. We, it's not purposeful. We're, we're taught that. We're literally, we're, we're pulled away from our source by the news, by um, um, the phone call, by this, this device I'm talking to right now. My God, it goes off all the time. How am I supposed to pay attention to the divine when I got Skype going off and Facebook pings going off? <clears throat> One of Master Shah's core secrets is where you put your mind is where the healing occurs. There is a very special point in your body that if you place your mind there and you make it a life intention to place your mind there, just that alone will help you with your finances. I know it sounds a little odd, but there's a reason why. When your mind is there, heaven and earth are connected in this point. The messages from heaven, the energy from earth connect in this point. And it's not what you might think. It's not the heart center. A lot of people think it's the heart center. It's actually called the Mingmen acupuncture point. It's called the Tao point. Put your finger on your belly button. <clears throat> Go ahead. Put your finger on your belly button. Visualize an imaginary line going straight through to your back. It will end right about where that dip in your back is, where it curves in. That point is called your Mingmen acupuncture point. And that point is associated with the Kundalini area. That point is the point through which Tao connects to us. Tao is the source of all life. When we keep our mind there and we chant to serve others, or we just think about the divine, or we stay in a place of gratitude, which is hugely key to financial blessings, when we just keep our mind there, which you'll find is not as easy as you would think, um, why will this bless our finances? Very simple. When we keep our mind there, we are, <clears throat> we are opening up the hourglass. Imagine the top of our body and the bottom of our body, and it has all this thick sand going through. This thick sand is all the things that God, Tao, Earth, Heaven wants for us. But that hourglass point, that tight point, happens when we are separate from Heaven and Earth, when we are separate from all that has created us. And so when we put our mind there, just putting our mind there, it goes dink. And now we can think of something wonderful, positive, higher frequency. We can, we can talk to God. Dear God, uh, I know I don't talk to you often, but I want to thank you. I thank you for being able to wake up today to see my son, for being able to call him if I can't see him. I thank you for waking up today and having a job and a roof over my head. Immediately go into gratitude, the little, the little space goes rrr, rrr, rrr. The more you stay in gratitude, the more the financial blessings come to you. I will teach you something else about finances. I was floored when my master, uh, uh, my teacher, Master Shah, taught me this. Taught everybody this. It was in his, um, it's in his book called The Power of Soul. And it's on the soul of finances. And what he said was, as on earth there is money in heaven. The money in heaven has a different name. Does anybody know what that name is? It's called virtue. What is virtue? It is good karma. So when we have a history of good deeds, when we have served others, when we have been selfless, and nobody knows about it, heaven gives us wonderful good virtue. When our ancestors have done wonderful things, we tend to have a trouble-free life. It's not because we did a whole lot of things, it's because we have done virtuous things or our ancestors have. Aloha Vanessa, Aloha Lillian, thank you for joining. So when we do things to increase our virtue in heaven, by serving, by chanting, for example, the source soul song of love, peace and harmony, 
Why would a song create virtue? Why would a song give me good karma? It depends on the song. You don't want to go out and chant a Metallica song. Doesn't carry virtue. Might actually create a little bad karma. Chant a song that carries the divine's frequency. Chant to serve others. Dear the soul song of love, peace, and harmony, I love you. Would you please offer love, peace, and harmony to all humanity? I truly appreciate that. Dear all humanity, all souls in all universes, I invite you to chant with me and serve unconditionally. You chant the song, heaven opens up your Akashic record, and you start sprinkling flowers of virtue in your record book. That is like heaven's eraser. You've got all these souls in heaven that are working, and they go, oh, time to go to work. One of our students is down there chanting to serve humanity. They break out the eraser and start, ee, ee, ee. And they start moving up all that dirt that's on your records, all that dirt that got them from your ancestors. And when that debt, that spiritual debt starts to leave, that spiritual debt that could very easily have been causing you financial blockages, that spiritual debt that could be related to selfishness that you or others had created in this or a different lifetime. That spiritual debt doesn't just go away, it has to be washed. So when you chant to serve others unconditionally and you happen to use the source soul song of love, peace and harmony in this example, you are getting huge blessings, beyond measure blessings. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can teach a class uh, an eight-hour class on the power of love, peace, and harmony in one minute. Everything has a soul, and every soul has a frequency or a soul standing. That song's soul standing is amongst the highest that you'll ever, ever begin to comprehend. I can't even go into why. That's a whole other story. Trust. Find it. Chant it. Go to lovepeaceharmony.org. Download it. It's free. It was given to humanity. It is a tool that can serve your financial journey in huge, huge ways. So, I see a lot of comments. I see one question. I'm going to go to that in just a moment. The message today. When you serve others, heaven opens your record and starts to clear your debt. Imagine if you took time every day to sing. Imagine if you did that while you were driving, while you were washing dishes, while you were doing anything that is kind of mindless, and you s invited all souls to join with you, very key, invite all souls to join with you, to serve unconditionally. And in doing so, you can absolutely impact all aspects of your life, including your finances, because of service. Okay, so let's go take a look at one of the questions here. Uh, thank you, Loveness. I see you've joined us. Welcome. Thank you, Esther. I see you've joined us. Welcome. Happy to see both of you. Uh, Kristen says, Thank you, dear Master Paul. My business, the Tridosha, and my soul healing business, and my soul group, uh, Power of Soul Healing Barbados, the inability to draw right clients and those that will refer me to those clients, as well as to draw and engage people to soul group and group page. Okay, great. Let me take a drink of water here and we will ask Kevin. <coughs> Do the soul of Kristen, the soul of Kristen's soul power power group, the soul of the conditions that are currently prevailing with her soul power, soul power of a Barbados group, the series of questions that she has posed to the soul of the underlying restrictions, be it mindsets, attitudes, beliefs on her side or the other side that might be causing a um, inability to bring forth financial success in this arena and the inability to grow a referral base. Could you please collectively come together? Please offer guidance, wisdom, and advice for our beloved Kristen in whatever way is most appropriate for her to hear at this time. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. 
How? This is the soul of your soul healing business. I am a bit weak. I do not have enough light. It is important that you receive a blessing for me. I carry some business karma from other lifetimes and it is inhibiting me from serving and those seeing my light. Please also check my name. There is something missing. I know you are attached to the name, but it needs a bit of massaging. Those on the other side of the world, Barbados, think a bit differently. They need a bit more trust. Keep in mind they have been overrun 16 or so times by different nations and as such they don't trust easily. Their hearts are open. Trust is a different thing. Open your heart more. Delve into how you can serve their loved ones, their children. Offer your healing hands, calligraphy blessings to those others. Ask nothing in return. Give with your whole heart and they will return the same. They will refer you. Let them know that you always are willing to serve, but that you must return blessings back to heaven and that there will be times when there will be a natural honor fee that must be honored that you do not wish to withhold, that you can still offer blessings using Master Shah's books for those that are in need. Think not, our dear Kristen, that your soul power is diminished because you do not have the label of others. Heaven is behind all of Master Shah's healers equally. Call upon us. We will serve you. You are loved. You are blessed. Go out and serve with all your heart. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kristen, for that question. Hopefully that served you. I will scroll through here. Okay, uh, Margaret, Aloha Master Paul, thank you for teaching wisdom, loveness. What is the next step I need to take in helping build the orphanage we have started in Africa? Thank you so much. Great, I can do that. I'm curious too, let's find out. Please uh, tell heaven the name of your orphanage. Dear the soul of loveness, dear the soul of this orphanage, she has mentioned to heaven, dear the soul of her question, uh, how can she, what does she need to do to help in building the orphanage that they have started in Africa? Dear the soul of the highest and best wisdom, uh, guidance, information, please be present. Dear the soul of all of those um, public and private entities both where she lives and in Africa can you please be present and in this specific uh, province in Africa could you please be present <clears throat> to the soul of uh, the highest and best actions non actions that can be taken that can serve her the uh, greatest way where she lives now to create additional uh, awareness and financial blessings that can assist this orphanage to grow and have the financial aspects that it needs to grow. Um, and any additional information that is needed to assist her with her question. Thank you. 
How? This is the soul of the children that you are to serve. We bow down to you for your heart of service and for all of those that you have brought together in this service. We want to assist. We know we can help. We can help them by writing poems that you can share. We can help by putting together flower cards that you can sell. We can help by using our creativity to make others aware that we are real and that we are human, that we are one with everyone. We do not wish to receive without offering something in return. We wish to serve also. Teach us love, peace, and harmony. We will go to our village and teach it to our parents. Teach the fathers at the level of soul that we are worthy, that we can do much more than just to be a burden to them. Teach the communities at the soul level that we are wise and can do much. Teach us to empower each other, the one with no leg, to help the one with one eye. Record this giving of one to the other. Video record us making the cards. Bring this information to groups. Be open to who they might be. <clears throat> there are many that are dedicated to serve. We can move their hearts. Make the donations exceedingly small so that they are willing to duplicate it on large scales on a monthly basis. One quarter each a week times 10,000 can serve us very well. We are so honored to offer this message to you. We are so grateful for your service to us. We love you. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Please um, try not to ask me questions that make me cry on camera. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for that question. <laughs> love you, love you, love you to those beautiful children. Okay, Vanessa, Master Paul, I have neck and back problems that prevent me from being more active with business, work, social life. I do yoga and rest a lot too. What is the significance of this pain? Okay, good question. Give me a moment while I blow my nose. Sorry about the sound. Okay. To the soul of Vanessa, the soul of Vanessa's question about her neck and back pain and the message, the significance of this pain could you, uh, that is inhibiting her from being more active with business, could you please offer your guidance for her at this time? Thank you. To the soul of um, all those that are bringing this reminder to our beloved Vanessa, <clears throat> the soul of the underlying reasons behind it, the soul of the highest and best wisdom, guidance, and insights and the best way to say this 
Could you please be present? Thank you. Our dear Vanessa, you are one of those beings that has unrequited emotions, a wide open heart, but a closed mouth. You receive from many painful messages. They are completely unaware in most cases. It feels painful to you because of your openness. They don't even know when they say something that is in some cases indirect that you have linked this and this and therefore it feels like they are slandering you. You have held your lips your whole life. You do not share what you think very well. You do this because you do not wish to be judged. You do not wish to be criticized. You do not wish to lose their love. You do this because that's what you have been taught. It would be of value to practice a language that is honoring of you but expresses when these souls communicate with you or about you in ways that you just absorb. It is this absorption that has built this huge blockage in your heart center and it has created resistance in all parts of your body. It is just most pertinent and relevant in your neck and back. Blessings can be offered to remove this It is recommended you consider that the Jindan healing and transmission system for clearing not only these blockages but uh, re bringing in new mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that will no longer allow you to accept communication in this way that positions you to be more honoring of yourself. Just this communication, you have felt some release. You are deeply loved. This is your heaven's team. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, great, great. Hopefully that helps you, Vanessa. Please let us know if that resonates with you. Esther, I have a small business. Let me go down and just acknowledge everyone else, Esther. I'll come back. Um, Kristen, Napasanan, Crystal. Welcome, Crystal. Napasanan is my wife. Love you, honey. Um, C. John. Okay, I saw you come in. I'll come down to your questions soon. And then Loveness again. Thank you, Loveness. I want to read your response. Okay, so we're back at Esther. <clears throat> I have a small business. It is a cosmetic product. It is stuck and can't grow. Others make it so easy for me, it's so hard. Okay. Uh, Esther, think of your small business. Think of specifically the hardness parts. To the soul of Esther, Esther's small business, cosmetic business, the soul of the company. Esther, think of the company uh, that you represent. The soul of the company. The soul of Esther's association with the mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs of this business. Could you please be present? To the soul of the underlying reasons that is inhibiting Esther from being successful in this business. Um, could you all please be present? To the soul of any of Esther's financial karmic blockages, if any, that might be inhibiting her from having success in this business. Love you, Arnie. Appreciate you all. Could you please uh, offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights that will assist Esther at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey 
This is the soul of your cosmetic business. It is actually as simple as your fear of rejection. This fear comes from not only this lifetime but others in which you are worried about being judged that you might not be liked for doing what you are doing that you might be criticized or belittled or talked about behind your back that you might ostracize others which you don't want to do a simple way around this is to take a bit of a risk and communicate with those that you have no knowledge of. Do link yourself to a supportive business such as a salon, hair care, or something in a similar genre with somebody that you know where there is no uh, disagreement or argument or crossover where you offer for that a business free cosmetic service to all of their clients on a certain day of the week at a certain uh, number of hours choose to do this let's say six hours do this with three or four different locations go to one each day do this consistently free why it is the same as when you go to Macy's what happens after they give you the eyelash treatment, the lipstick treatment? You buy, don't you? Same thing. This will keep your costs down and it will be a benefit to those locations. You can even make an agreement with them to offer a percentage of the sales, the same percentage they would get should they become a distributor as well. And in this way, they have a lose-lose situation. You could create flyers or marketing materials that they give to those clients. It would be of value to change the days in each location so that you do not duplicate that same day so that you see new clients. This will help you to overcome this fear and grow your business. You are very blessed. I look forward as your business soul to serve more people. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, Esther, that sounds like it will serve you well. Thank you for the question. Lillian, I don't and haven't connected enough with the soul of my finances. I'd love to build a more loving and stronger connection, especially during times like this where I am in an unstable financial situation. <laughs> I would love to hear a message from the soul of my finances to build and grow our service for others. Thank you, thank you, love you, love you. Okay, Lillian. <clears throat> You're the soul of Lillian's finances. The soul of any message that is most pertinent to this exact question that Lillian has asked. The soul of Lillian, Lillian's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, honor you, appreciate you all. Please be present. Please offer this guidance at this time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Oh, this is the soul of your finances. I am stuck. I am stuck between your first soul house and your fourth soul house. In this area, you hold many blockages. These blockages are related to concern and worry. They are
conf uh, this area is like a reservoir of insecurity and unknowingness as to what is the next step and therefore I am unable to formulate Master Shah has taught what you think is what you become you have not truly sat down and created a clear visualization for me to serve you <clears throat> it would be of great value to align to a financial coach who is clear about how to accomplish that and then align to a soul coach who is clear how to link the two together get the business uh, plan if you will first and then go to the business soul coach and say okay how do I now reach this goal of X clients how do I uh, communicate with them how do I do it in an orderly consistent process every day so that I can further serve you it is a matter of uncluttering the clutter do this by first forgiveness second acknowledgement third concrete actions to shift it and then the last two that was suggested I am honored to serve you my beloved million this is the soul of your finances ha 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 thank you thank you thank you okay your finances are female just in case you didn't know <coughs> Kristen thank you so much dear master Paul and my soul healing business for your guidance and clarity I will continue to serve unconditionally and I know you do already Kristen um, reach through the family go to their children go to their um, their family serve them with Master Shaw's calligraphy books um, ask them for things that you can serve ask them to measure it and then offer that service and when they start seeing those results they will start to wake up <clears throat> okay uh, C. John welcome C. John I don't know if I've seen you here before I think once before maybe you've been watching my recordings so again welcome hi Master Paul I have such heavy blockage in my finances I try my best to serve a lot but still feel very disconnected from my finance is there something more I need to do and my soul healing business I get clients with very very heavy blockages and I wonder why <clears throat> um, okay I'm okay let me find out dear the soul of C. John the soul of her question around uh, very heavy blockages in her finances the soul of the clients that she's attracting with very very heavy blockages possibly financial blockages she hasn't expressed here on the highest best and most pertinent answer that can assist her at this time could you please collectively come together offer the guidance wisdom and insights that is most important for her to hear at this time Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm receiving the information, C. John. I'm formulating how to express it. <sighs> Dear our beloved C. John, you have a unique case in which you are burdened by heavy financial karma and other heavy karma the 
ability to stay in the light is of greatest importance for you. It is necessary to surround yourself with love, peace, harmony frequencies. To in as many moments as you can think of, call forth your ancestors and you, and invite them and all souls to chant with you. You need a great deal of unconditional service. This will incrementally release some of the blockages that are like very thick clouds that somehow seem to keep you in this place. <coughs> you want to ensure that you have a steady income. Do any kind of a job that ensures a steady income. As this will keep your mind in the right place. A sense of assuredness. Your soul healing business can serve others by referring others that have heavy, heavy blockages to those that have higher authorities. Maybe you are doing this already. If you are, or if you do it in the future, heaven will bless you because that soul is served. If those souls equally have heavy financial blockers, then it is because like attracts like. So focus on your service continually and do more gratitude related activity. Chant Master Marilyn's gratitude song. If you don't know it, connect with Master Marilyn and receive it. Make that your mantra as what this does is it shifts your manifestation compass to one that is not attracting those who are not as grateful as you and those that carry these heavy blockages. You must be diligent and consistent, especially with the gratitude. And with consistency and patience, you will see tangible and noticeable shifts. With those shifts, some, some additional financial blessings will come, and our suggestion is to receive a crown chakra blessing once a month if possible, generate if possible $100 and receive one once a month and you will find after about a year things will be substantially shifted. You are blessed to receive this information. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you for the question, Sijan. I hope that helps. Love this. I already got the donation of the cameras for the children's document their stories <clears throat> and many more on Facebook wall. You can see these cameras. I am still crying myself, Master Paul, uh, for everything <clears throat> um, that you said is, is in the project plan of the orphanage. I am so grateful for you channeling. Uh, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm honored to, to be a messenger. <clears throat> I will make sure I share uh, the, uh, your program with all my friends around the world. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Vanessa, she says, Thank you, Master Paul. Yes, it absolutely resonates with you. Very accurate. Yay! That's so exciting. I, I had just met Vanessa, I don't know, maybe last week. We just became Facebook friends. Um, I'm so happy that that message is correct. I truly have no idea. There are some people that are quite vocal. They have no problem expressing themselves. But heaven said, this is what the problem is. So it's just another validation that Paul is not talking. Paul is not the one delivering these messages. I am honored to be a, a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. All of you, if you don't know who he is, find this master. If you're not in this part of the world, if I cannot serve you, find a worldwide representative or, or student of Master Shah. Any one of his healers can serve you. They have all received 
healing attributes that can change your life a lot faster than you by yourself. I encourage all of you to go out, find a healer, find Master Shaw, find a World Wide representative, use me, we're all here to serve you. I am deeply honored to be one of those souls that, that is, is, is blessed to serve in this way. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Uh, Yvonne, I'm using my smartphone to watch the live stream seating in front of a desktop Apple computer and it's not playing just black. So I'm guessing that you're seeing this or hearing it or you would probably not have responded. Uh, the, probably the reason why would be because of the um, the uh, the backside of how the uh, the data talks. It just happens sometimes from phone to phone. Other people can be on their phone and see it fine. I, I apologize, Yvonne. I really don't know why. It has to do with the different technologies. Esther, thank you, Master Paul. Uh, have to work on it. Need to create a team to start my business. Okay, great. Uh, Adrian joined. Welcome, Adrian. Happy that you joined. Love you and love your wife. <clears throat> Lillian, thank you so much for my soul reading, Master Paul. Very grateful for the guidance. I will follow the guidance and assist more in this transformation. It was a very clear and true message. Good. Thank you so much. Uh, um, for the slow for the finances, I look forward to connecting and working with her more. I don't know. I didn't know she was female. Yeah. Um, yeah. Souls have, uh, souls have gender. Uh, you're very, very welcome. Thank you for sharing, Lillian. I truly appreciate it. Adrian still have relief from the back pain since your reading. Thank you, Master Paul, Master Shah, Jesus, continuing to pray for forgiveness and gratitude every day. Uh, you are a miracle worker. Thank you, my beloved friend, Adrian. Adrian, about to, probably about five, six days ago now, um, was lucky recipient of a healing blessing for sciatic. Um, and I think he said, I think he said it was a six or seven, maybe a five on a 10 scale, I forget. I offered a blessing, and uh, uh, again, I'm just a conduit, just like the readings. Um, the divine forgave whatever was going on, and this, his soul reading was about finances, curiously. It was about his mindsets around finances. And um, so some of those were released, as well as the associated pain in the sciatic. And he has commented that it has remained, which is truly, I'm so grateful to see, uh, Adrian, because I know we talked and you kind of was wondering, well, will it really stick? And I want you all to know when I offered my very first healing and probably for the first year after, I had the same thoughts and I'm offering the healing and I'm going, well, we'll see if it actually works. I'm going to wait and see if it sticks. I literally thought that for a long time. And now I know I trust uh, the healings are truly profound. So thank you, Agent, for sharing. I truly appreciate that. And uh, uh, please let me know if, if I have your permission, Adrian, to post your comments in, on my webpage. All of you, please, uh, please let me know if I have your permission to, to post your comments on my webpage. It's pretty much public domain here on Facebook, but I, I definitely want to make sure I have your permission. I want to also do a calling to all of you. If you look above uh, where I'm circling my finger right now, there should be a follow button, especially if you're live. When you click that, you will be notified every time I go live. That way you don't have to search around on Facebook to find me, okay? Uh, also, <clears throat> if you would like to receive my once a week newsletter, uh, it'll be a video newsletter. I'm still formatting what it will look like and how it will serve you. Every person that signs up for my weekly newsletter will receive a daily blessing at 3 o'clock. I will offer it immediately following this live stream to all of those who sign up for my newsletter who will be on my feed. Everyone will get a daily blessing. Um, <clears throat> and then in that newsletter, as I said, I'm still formulating how I will serve you. But I do have divine services that can transform your financial blockages, your health blockages, our soulmate stuff, and the list goes on. And... Um, for those that are, are part of my newsletter, I will definitely offer you a, a reduced rate uh, for, for being those that sign. I don't think I will offer that for everybody, but for those that sign up, maybe the first couple hundred, I will definitely do that. Um, because I'm, 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 I'm growing my ability to serve, and I, I hope that um, I can serve you in this way. So thank you for listening to that, uh, that request. Okay, so C. John, wow. Uh, let's see.
Stephanie Cannon. If you have time, I have a quick question. I'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, I think we have a few minutes left. See, Joan, didn't realize my karma was that heavy. Thank you, Master Paul. We'll work on it. Adrian, yes, of course. Thank you, Master Adrian. Or Adrian, I appreciate it. We have a Master Adrian, so that kind of default that comes out of my mouth. Tatiana, I would love to sign up for your newsletter. I th oh, thank you, Tatiana. Yvonne, no problem. You can post my comments. Thank you. Um, so all of you that um, would like to uh, sign up for my newsletter on a Facebook message to me directly. Don't put, it, don't put your email on my Facebook page. Go to my page or your page. Um, go to my page. Click message. Message me directly. Give me your email and I'll put it in there. That way it's private, okay? Uh, Crystal, uh, thank you. And Yvonne, uh, where is my question? Yvonne, you're sending me a question either on email or on my Facebook page. It won't work that way. You have to send me your question if you want a reading directly on this live stream flow. So I haven't seen it yet. I apologize. I would have, would have answered had I seen it. Okay. Final question. Stephanie, if you have time, I have a quick question. Should I inquire more about this job offer in Boulder? Think of the job, think of the job offer. To the soul of Stephanie, think uh, to the soul of this job, this job offer. <clears throat> Stephanie, I'm getting a yes. But what comes with that, yes, is um, there's a lot of background stuff that needs to be answered before you can make any form of a commitment. It has a lot of positivity associated with it, but it's a value for you to find out more. Um, avoid making any commitments, of course, but learn more about it. That's the answer. <clears throat> Okay, so we have reached the end of our show. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for sharing these posts. Thank you for sharing your comments. Um, I appreciate your approvals for capturing your uh, uh, quotes and uh, uh, any healing or blessings, etc. I will complete with a blessing. So all of you make a request for one aspect of your life or your physical, emotional health that you would like a blessing for, I will send an appropriate blessing at this time. Make a request to heaven, not to me. This request, or this blessing, also goes out to all those that watch this video after the fact. Make your request, you will also receive a blessing. I ask all those that if you're asking for, you know, physical pain, headache, anything of that nature, comment afterwards especially when there's a difference it's service thank you please make your request while i prepare Blessing begin. Ula Lula Li Ula Lula La Li Ula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Shall 
आध से शंग आय पिंग आध से आय लव माय हर्ट्स एंड सो आय लव ओ ह्यूमैनिटी जोइन हर्ट्स एंड सोल्स Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. To all those that are moved by this, thank you for your comments. Uh, if you wish to share this with a specific friend, you can, after this finishes, right-click on the video and it will give you a URL. You can message it directly to your friend. Uh, alternatively, you can hit the share button and it will give you a choice of shares and you can choose from those choice of shares how you wish to do it. You can share it into a group or any no other number of ways. It is my honor to serve you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, gong song, gong gong, gong song. Bye bye.